Hi, brothers and sisters. I have got. I am laughing about this one. Okay. You know, I've always seen something at Walmart because that's where a lot of the truths are known, right? <laughs> anyway, look at this. Okay, this is a bottle of wine. And it says, Prayer of Saints. Okay. Now, here's what's crazy about this. It's got 3.5% alcohol in it right here. I'm going to show you. It says right there, 3.5% alcohol by volume, right? Uh, and it contains sulfites. I'm not talking about that. But anyway, what's great, we actually got a bottle here. It says, Prayer of the Saints. It's on clearance. Well, number one, it's not funny, but yeah, saints are kind of clearance right now. They're getting wiped out right and left. So you hang strong, you uh, saints and you followers of the Father and Lord, all right? Because they're we're getting attacked right and left. I'm attacked every day, right? So we're on clearance right now. <laughs> There's a fire cell on us, right? But that's not it, it's not funny because we got to stay strong. But you got to laugh how bad this is. Okay, now look at this. Sim look at this uh, bottle here. Look at this. Okay. Now look, I'm gonna zoom, I'm gonna pull in a little bit. Look how you got this like demonic. Uh, red face looking thing on this on this thing and the birds are flying and she's got something I'm gonna rotate a little bit she's supposed to look like you know they got the Sun behind her her head's blocking the Sun like and by the way the Lord she's praying you know what I mean but look what, what is that it's got like flowers or something covering her face are you kidding me and then what do we got over here let's see what we got over here um, let's see here we got some I don't know what that is let's see here uh, let's see we got some red like mountains or hills or something. I'm trying to see if I can read a spiritual read on that in that drawing. It looks like something is in there on next to that bird. I'm trying to hold this thing at the same time, right? But anyway, that, you know, I think you, a lot of times we see the Lord depicted with a, a sun around his face and stuff like this. We got this lady like praying to the something. I, what is she praying to? I mean, not even the sun or in the, I mean, you don't pray the sun, but what is she? It is wild. And look at this. I mean, okay, what do you got down here? What? What is this other thing here? There's actually something in there too. Let's see, I'm rotating a little bit. Oh my goodness, I can't tell. I'm gonna have to look at this later. I'm trying to focus here on some of the stuff. Let's see, she's got, she's got her wristband on it. I mean, oh, I know behind her, that's like that, what do you call it, like an iPad go to, it was at the, I can't remember that. You know, I'm not sure, you know, what that is. It's not the lily, but it's whatever. Um, Anyway, so I'm a little tired here. Let's see what's in here. But anyway, Dove's a piece. You got Satan right between there or something. Some evil looking face. Are you kidding me, people? Yeah, um, alcohol. They call it spirits for reasons. It brings out the evil spirits in you, right? I'm not judging brothers and sisters that drink and stuff like that. So as long as, and I don't know, you know, I'm not judging, but I'm telling you what, spirits is written right in front of you. Prayers of saints. Chardonnay, Washington State. Our true self lies somewhere between a various good side and a indulgent dark side? What? One's true self lies somewhere between. No! Everybody's true supposed to be on the good side no matter what, not in between. I mean, seriously, that's like programming you to be dark and good. So, what are you going to choose every day? Which side you're going to be on? And we all fall in between there? No, you want to be 100% of the way to the good side. It's like saying you're half blind or you know, you're know you either pregnant or you're not. Or you're half blind or you aren't blind. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Um, uh, what's it say? Oh, I'm sorry because I don't have my reading glasses on. It says, this Chardonnay is tempting for the, sort, the, the, for the saint and all of us. Okay the saint and all of us and then it says white bright and refreshing with a touch of softness hmm. well you kind of be hard as a rock in this real with the father and lord but uh yeah you're soft that's we lukewarm christians soft-hearted christians and that's why we're in trouble i think talking to a former guy who's in korea vietnam he knows the truth he said man i'm telling you he said it's a nightmare he said these uh Lukewarm Christians and all this other stuff were in the mass. He said nobody wants to rise with us. Um, anyway, nobody wants to go in there, right? Boy, you got a lot of clearance on here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. <laughs> anyway, all right. Sweet tarts. Yeah, see, there you go. Sweet and killing. You know what I mean? Looks like somebody didn't like their broccoli. Anyway, so uh, God bless y'all. Let's see, light grapefruit 
flavored tonic drink and other natural flavors. You know, that's the thing, as they said, that the uh, waters would be poisoned uh, during the end of times. Well, I think it's true. You drink out of any of these waters. It's got industrial waste and it's disgusting. We talked to ones in Boulder County in the river that said, man, you can't drink that stuff, okay? It'll make you sick and out of your mind, right? So, anyway, um, yeah, so we, we see tons of wa bottled water, bottled this, bottled that. Um, yeah, some of that is marketing. Yes, that is true. There are some clean streams. You got to get way up north in them. I mean, you wouldn't want to drink out of any of these rivers around here. Whew, my goodness. Uh, just poison, right? All right, so yeah, so the waters would be tainted, like it says in Revelations. Even Native Americans said, man, the waters are filthy. The story behind that, uh, they are filthy. There was actually uh, the EPA, which is another environmental protection agency, is another lie, another scam, by the way, that when I was going to run for governor of Colorado, I was worried about the uh, south of us, uh, New Mexico. So you know, had some relatives there, but I was talking to some Native Americans. They said the EPA was lying because they had a river there that they used to swim in every weekend. And this is recent, by the way. Every weekend, this was about three or four years ago, but every weekend that the uh, river was uh, enjoyed to go fishing and this like that. Well, the EPA is supposed to protect the waters and protect the environment. They came along and gave approval to a mining company that just trashed it with arsenic and other crap and opened up this old junk. And they said the fish died and they can't even swim that thing like that. It went from a nice clear uh, crystal white color and you know, bluish to just red and brown and filthy. They said it's disgusting. They said it's sad. The EPA came against them. At the time, I told myself, I'll try to do what I can. I said when I was running for governor, I said with New Mexico, but I said I'm focusing on Colorado once at a time, but I see if I can use some political ploy. But as we know that things changed and uh, I never couldn't run for governor, got shut down by the Illuminati, the rich, and all those other things. And that's okay, because like I said, now I run for the Lord, and that's what counts, right? So anyway, God bless y'all and love y'all. Take care.